everyone, it's Jo Carter here, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up. It is already the 11th of January, when it hits the double digits I definitely was thinking I need to get this wrap up out, so I'm filming tonight, February the 11th, did I say it was January the 11th? February the 11th I'm videoing and hopefully I'm going to edit it and upload it tonight as well. So I read a grand total of two books this month and just having a look at my Goodreads from when I started the first book that I finished this year, I actually started at the 20th of December and finished at the 20th of January. So it literally took a whole month to get finished. And that is A Column of Fire by Ken Follett. So this is the third in the Kingsbridge trilogy, which is an epic historical fiction that revolves around a church in an England town called Kingsbridge. Even though it's a trilogy, it, each book follows different characters because it's generally set hundreds if not thousands of years between each book. So this being the third one in the trilogy and considering that I loved the first and loved, 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 loved the second, I was highly anticipating this one but unfortunately it let me down. I only ended up giving this book three stars. I just didn't feel like I connected with the characters in this book as much as I did in the previous one. I think he tried, Ken Follett tried to do more scope with this one than just getting you involved with the characters. There's a really good review on Goodreads that I'll link down below in the description where the writer of the review pretty much sums up everything that I felt better than I could say but the main thing was I just didn't feel as connected to the characters because I felt like it was more about the struggle between Protestantism and Catholicism and it was more of a broad whole country and a few different countries and how they intertwined in the politics whereas the previous ones even though they still religious struggle was still at the heart of the plot it focused more on how that affected individual characters and got me to actually feel things for particular characters but these ones even though I still enjoyed them I just didn't feel for them. I didn't have the same empathy that I did as in the previous ones. So even though it was still really easy to breeze through, well, sort of since it took me a month to read it, but it was still pretty easy to read. I didn't feel like it was boring or anything. It was just disappointing because I was really highly anticipating it. I was also a bit disappointed by the death, well, one of the deaths in this book, because I just felt like it was a plot device. I was really unhappy because I really liked that character and I felt like it only happened so that two particular characters could could get together. So even though I'm really glad to have read this series, especially because the second was one of my probably all-time favourite books, this one wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be. So the second book I finished this year is Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan, which is the first in the Black Magician trilogy. I ended up giving this one four stars. I really enjoyed reading it. It wasn't something that I felt on the edge of my seat all the time. I didn't feel like I was scared for the main character's survival but it was very relaxing, very easy to read and I feel like it's something that it's only going to get better as the trilogy continues. So I purchased a copy that came without a dust jacket which I was a bit disappointed to get and I was tempted to chuck this one away and get another one but then I felt, you know, poor book, it's unloved. So I decided to keep it and I'm going to collect the entire trilogy without jackets I'm pretty sure because they're cheaper to get that way. I really like the main character Senea. I think I'm saying it correctly. I originally tried to read this book on audio but because it's third person and I prefer a more conversational tone I didn't end up finishing an audio. I finished it in this edition which I was really glad because it meant I really enjoyed it but I really liked Sunia because I feel like she was a tough but kind heroine and she was also someone who didn't trust easily not to like a, a stupid point where it was frustrating to watch her interact with people but more of a smart way I got get quite frustrated reading some YA books now when the characters just do dumb shit because they trust the wrong people too easily but I felt like Sunia was really quite practical in who she decided to put her faith in and gave them lots of tests to make sure that they were actually worthy of it. I also really liked her and Sarah's relationship again I don't know if I'm saying it right. I also liked her relationship with Rothman. I really liked Danielle like there were lots of characters that even though on the whole I wasn't desperate to read this book all the time, I wasn't addicted. There are plenty of characters and relationships in here that I'm interested to continue the trilogy and I hope it just gets better and better. Those are the two books I read this month. 
the red in January since it's mid-February now. Um, I felt like I was going nowhere with my reading because it took me a whole month to read Column of Fire, but I'm really glad to have squeezed in The Magician's Guild. And I'm looking forward to continuing my reading month. But thanks everybody for watching. This has been a good, quick, short clip. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!